Ayo sumpa sumpa Uja ti wapa ta viti konga Uma wapa wana Now next time anybody tells you about anything called a big three Yeah, tell them that there's only a big two And then there's burner boy The guy dropped mic as if he talk anything good. Is there any time anyone tell you about any big three? Tell them there's only big two, and then there is Bonner Boy. Ah, see, why is the Bonner Boy? You can say I do, I don't understand Bonner Boy. What be your own inside? Today they will say you no care. Tomorrow you go the whole mind. Don't be you. They all get whiskey for inside club. They almost want kiss whiskey for mouth. <laughs> no be you almost kiss whiskey for club. How can I don't know how people can be that fake. That means all those things people are saying online really gets to you. You really think about it. It's in your brain. You're always thinking about it. If they're talking about Big Terry, Bonaboy versus this one, yes, Bonaboy they think about them. If they see them. Now, only person like Whiskey, now I thought, say, ah, Whiskey, know they concern himself with all those things, so you know they see them. But Bonaboy and David do. They, they see them, they, they think about them. They want to address it. That comment may you make, Bonaboy, it doesn't really make sense. You understand? But yeah, he, he's a human being though. He's allowed to respond to any stuff that he wants to respond with, uh, respond on. But you day club for yesterday here, they kiss whiskey, almost kiss her for mouth. <laughs> and now you are talking about there is no big three. If there's any, if 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 anybody tells you about big three, let them know that there's big two, and then there's one boy. Okay, now big seven. Okay. Can we say Big Seven? Is there something like Big Seven? Eh? Is there any something like Big Seven? So I can easily say, meaning what you are saying, meaning that okay, Whiskey is number one, David Doe is number two, or David Doe is number one, Whiskey is number two, and then Bonaboy number three. That is how I can interpret it all. Because if you say, if people are telling you there's Big Terry, no. Tell them there is big two, and then followed by the Bonner boy. There is the father, and then the son. That means now you the bottom. <laughs> ah! So I say make David do and Bonner boy they fight for big two, big wheels, and leave it that number one spot. <laughs> Chama, don't they address this guy matter again? The thing is just less than you. People will start talking rubbish on your name and every kind of all those crazy stuff. But more for that matter. You they expect Bugatti, hey? They say Bonaboy Bugatti already. They said Bonaboy Bugatti is ready. I'm really, really excited. I would get, I, I, I'd be more excited eh, for that Bugatti to come to Nigeria because I want to see a Niger Hati. Riding, driving a Bugatti. I think it's about three point something million US dollars. So, three point something million US dollars. Three point something billion naira. That's what we are talking about. Then, if you want to uh, transport her down to Niger, you thought they go like four billion naira. That's what we are talking about. Basically, they drive four billion naira car for as a Nigerian artist for Niger. Man, Bonner Boy, man, you be Baba. So I'm even even more excited for Bonner Boy than himself. Sir. Understand? Big seven. There's not like big. There's nothing like big theory. Then then there is big two, and then there's Bonner Boy. What kind of okay? Where you go around all those kind of talk? Perform your performance and live on the live stage. Ah. So people so. No people don't go to the tea rubbish show. What you can't concern anybody? Man. 
But then again, his fans are supporting him. Someone, one of his fans said, I love his confidence, brother boy. Odogu, Odogu, okay now. Then let's talk about uh, Davido, baby mama. Davido, uh, baby mama, one of uh, his uh, sexy baby mama, that is first baby mama, which we regarded as uh, some people regard some people regard as David O's first wife. <laughs> so people regard as uh, David O's first wife. Well, he wrote something recently. Someone asked her, why don't you show off your body like the rest? You have got a banky body, you know. Then she said, one, no, I know. But that's for my personal snap. And it's a zero nine and it's zero Nigeria on there. Y'all don't deserve me. See, everybody just hate Nigerians. Nigerians, Nigerians. <laughs> what did Nigerians do you now? He said, she said she has a personal snap and there is zero Nigeria there. Ah. If the, the in the entire Nigeria, you do not have one friend in Nigeria in Nigeria. I say, oh, the entire Nigeria on your personal snap. And you think you are not the you are not the wrong person, like you are not the one who has issues. Don't you think there's something wrong with you? And he said, Nigeria do not deserve her. What, okay, when we were on when you were when Nigeria was supporting you and all those kind of stuff, when everything was okay with you and David O. What did you do for Nigeria that you think Nigeria should support you and should give you all their undying love? What do you think you did for Nigeria that you feel like they should act more right when it comes to you? What has Sophia done for Nigeria so crying out loud? She, she, she do charity one day. She, she do charity. She, she, she give out anything. She, she sing music, or she art movie, or she fight for Nigerians, do the answers. What did she don't do for Nigeria? Nothing. When some people, when some other celebrities start making all nasty stuff and being like, oh, Nigeria do not deserve me. What have you done for Nigerians? Even be it all those musicians. They say Nigeria. What the hell do you people think you have done for Nigerians? Nigerians have given you literally everything: fans, money, fame, and yet you guys do not even appreciate them. What the hell have you guys done for Nigerians? The only thing here is that Nigerians keep hyping about you guys by gossiping about you, talking about you. You are not here with your two face talk. If nobody talk about you, eh, you are in no goddamn body. There are many, many artists who are, who are gone today. They do not have fame again. They are begging Nigerians to talk about them. They are paying bloggers for Nigerians to talk about them. A time will come, eh, all those people, nobody will start, everybody will stop talking about them. Because their time don't pass. And I bet you as a den, eh, they will start begging. Because some of them, are, they are that big. They are that big now. They feel like, oh, they do not know this social media life again. They just want to enjoy their money. Sing when you are in the... How the hell do you think they're going to book you for a show if people do not talk about you? Even based on their abroad self, should they go? If Nigeria bloggers never talked about you, discuss about you, how the hell do you think those outside people will rock to your songs? Or we care to know who you are. Or we care to follow you on your social media page. These people, they miss them all. I swear. They really miss it sometimes. They, they miss them with their pride. Putting, not only social media, what do do? I'm talking about literally all those um, entertainers. And entertainers will come and be like, Nigeria do not deserve you. What the hell? What have you done for Nigeria? What have you done for Nigerians? What have you done for Nigerians? On, on, what have you done? Honestly, ask yourself, what have you done? 
You couldn't even manage your fame well because you got all the fame. You couldn't even manage it well. And then you start getting, uh, you brought your business outside. Come on, why do people keep blaming it on uh, social media? You brought your social media, uh, your stupidity to social media, and yet you tell people not to talk about it. Uh, you're going to bring your stuff on social media, also control people's thoughts as well, not to talk about it. Yeah, you have done so much for you guys. Then let's move past that. Let's talk about uh, one South Africa entertainer, Zodwa. Zodwa decided to enter the new year. Kai, Zodwa. She's a South Africa musician and an adult star. Not adult star, but similar like that. This woman, eh? Oh. This woman who put Punani for, for fans to come the league for stage. If you want to check the video, check out uh, my telegram at Adam's link. Check it out there and you're going to see the video. Just go to your telegram and click Adam's link. Because obviously I cannot put the video here because of uh, YouTube rules and regulation. And again, I'm trying as much as possible to manage my words. So there will not be all the words I'm going to use now. Based on, based on, you know, of course, you guys understand now. So, guys, let me know. This life eh, is really turning to something else. This social media space is turning to something else. It's really crazy. Really, really crazy. Ah! Let's see what this woman they do. Well, check it out, guys. And uh, let me.